What is up YouTube? I'm finally back with yet another DOI Tesla Power update video. I haven't really done anything um, in regards to this power wall at all that was like meaningful or anything. Um, it's basically been the same power wall, um, nothing's really changed. But since then, I have been you know, dedicating a lot of my spare time to uh, get this power up and going again. I have my batteries uh, all, he all here, um, you know, just kind of thrown on the table. So I'm planning on getting those, you know, nicely charged, chucking them on the left side first because that's closest to the inverter. We get some better wires, um, attach that all nicely and get it all balanced up and, you know, ready for summer kind of thing. So um, got my solar panels, you know, just sitting here as well. So I'm definitely planning on getting that set up soon, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, I, we're still judging if we're going to put it on the shed roof. Or possibly um, over the water tank we're going to do some structure for that but um, I'll show you guys um, a bit so it's very similar to the last the last setup it's just the power cord goes through into the breaker box and that goes to a power point and then that goes up and that will go across into uh, you know future power points around the shed so I'm also running a line to the house uh, as well maybe just an extension cord uh, for the time being, obviously, like a weatherproof one. Um, and then, yeah, the power will just exit there. The solar will also come down through that tube and then into this breaker. And then that will have some kind of conduit thing going into the two uh, 30 amp solar charge controllers I'm planning on putting in. I'm going to get uh, two new ones, the same I had before. I'll put a picture on the screen. So I'm going to get, uh, obviously, two of those. Uh, they fit basically perfect here. So here's my broken one, so you can see that, you know, one, two, and even if the screws overlap, it should be fine. So basically how I'm going to have this is I'm going to have two separate 24 volt packs, which are activated with like some kind of switch so that I can, you know, um, switch between them when one gets flat. And then I'll have the two solar charge controllers charging each individual battery. Um, so. I'm still working out how I'm going to do that, but as long as I can keep the packs, you know, I'm um, within balance, like the parallel packs, I should be able to maybe do it uh, like together. But I really don't want to have one pack higher than the other. Then when we charge it, it gets all out of balance and stuff. So I'm trying to do it one p, as in like one pack, and then you do like seven s. But um, I'll just see how I go. I might be getting a battery system as well. That should make it a lot easier to monitor the voltages on each cell and stuff like that. Um, those mm. obviously, you know, in the thousands of dollars. So, um, yeah, so basically that's it for now. Um, I, you know, I've got PowerPoint all installed. I'm going to obviously have to run the wire through and all that, get the switches and breakers in properly. But um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, please definitely stay tuned for the future updates. I'm on holiday, so I've got a lot of time to... Uh, pump into this project and hopefully you guys do enjoy and if you do just please give it a like and subscribe to this video and thank you very much for watching